Hi everybody. Today for math, we are going to do a measurement activity um, looking at how far apart our footsteps are and trying to make them exactly one foot. Um, and one foot is 12 inches. So before we begin, I'm just going to set us up with using some um, paper in order to do our measurements. Now, if you have a ruler at home that measures 12 inches or you have a tape measure or something else that you know is exactly 12 inches, you can just use that. I recommend using it. Um, I do not have a ruler, so I am using just a plain sheet of eight and a half by 11 paper. This is just printer paper um, or coloring paper. So it's eight and a half inches this way, and then it's 11 inches this way, the long way. And 11 inches is pretty close to 12 inches. So what we're gonna do is use this to measure and then just estimate kind of what 12 in, what, what one inch is and add that to the end. So on me, an inch is about the length from the knuckle of my pinky to my pinky. For you all, I'd say the length of your pinky is about an inch. It's just a little thing. If you think about it, there's 11 of them on this side. So they're kind of small. So when we're measuring, we'll measure using the long end of paper and then adding just the length of your pinky to the end and saying that that is a foot or 12 inches. Those are, those mean the same things. So when you measure, we want to make sure that you're measuring from right on the edge of whatever your unit is. If you're using a ruler, you're going to go right to the edge. Often there's a little tick mark right by zero. You want to start right there. For this, we'll measure straight up to the edge. So if I was measuring the length of this pen, I'd want, I wouldn't just be like, oh, it's about starting right there. I'd want to start exactly at the edge and be incredibly as precise as I can. We want to be accurate mathematicians. Um, so that's a little mini lesson on measuring for you using this paper. Um, and then again, at the end, after you get to the edge of the paper, just kind of add the length of your pinky and estimate an inch or so. Um, you might want to ask a grown-up what an inch kind of looks like, have them estimate it. And um, what you'll need for this, is, for this lesson is um, a sheet of paper or some sort of measuring device. Um, you'll need like a small cookie sheet with water. It needs to be big enough that your feet can go in it and get your feet wet. You want to be barefoot um, for it. You'll need some space outside and um, optionally you'll want a uh, sidewalk chalk. I'm using that just to kind of mark where my footprints are and um, and then just a notebook and pencil or something to write with uh, just to record your results. All right, great. Can't wait to see you and get started. Okay, now that we have all of our materials together, I've got this little cookie sheet and it has some water in it. I have my paper to measure with, I have sidewalk chalk and a notebook and I'm writing in pen so that you can see it more, but you could write in pencil. Um, so the first thing is to measure just one of my totally typical footprints. If you want, you can walk around first to practice and make sure that you're doing it. Um, I'm just going to show you one of my footprints. So I'll hold on to my chalk. I'm gonna put my feet, oh, it's kind of cold, in the water. And now I'm just gonna take a totally typical step. And you can see that I have these footprints here. So I'm gonna draw a line. This is why you don't totally need the chalk. If it's a really sunny day, this your footprints might evaporate quickly. Um, whoa, that's a really small foot. I didn't take, I didn't go very far. It doesn't look very far. Okay. So this is a distance from the toe of one foot to the heel of the other, and I'm going to try and measure it. So as you can see, it's definitely not a foot. I can estimate that just by looking at it. It doesn't look very big. So I could either use my paper, or like I said before, your pinky is about the length of an inch. So because this is so small, I don't need this whole sheet of paper. I'm just going to use my pinky and say, and. For me, I use from my knuckle to the end. For you, you'll use your whole pinky. 
but I'm really careful to get my pinky right on there or even mark where the end of my finger goes. It's almost two inches. So I'll round up and I'll say it's two inches. So I wrote, <coughs> so I wrote my footstep is blank inches. I'm gonna say two inches. I need how many more inches, inches more to be one foot? Well, one foot is 12 inches and I did two, so two plus what equals 12? Well, I know that two plus 10 equals 12, so I need 10 more inches. That's a lot of inches, so I've gotta take a much bigger step. So once you know how big your natural foot step is, now it's kind of the fun part. You have to try and get it to be one foot. All right, so I need to take a much bigger step. Wet, take one. How about that? I'll mark where my heel was, where my toes were. And now this looks much bigger. I did a much better job. Now I'm gonna use my paper. Oh, it's exactly the length of my paper, which means that I'm close, but no cigar, because my paper, if you remember, is 11 inches. So now I think to myself as a mathematician, okay, this footstep is 11 inches. That's definitely a big improvement from two inches. Do I need to go more or a, do I need to make a bigger footstep or a smaller footstep to get to one foot? So I need to make a bigger footstep. So I'd step in here and I try and make it even bigger. If I go too big, then I have to start making it smaller. Um, and you can see, does it feel natural to kind of walk one foot whenever you take your steps? Um, or does it feel like you're really stepping pretty big? So this, I hope that this is a fun activity for you. Um, I know I had a lot of fun with it. It's kind of nice to put my feet in water on a hot day. As you move through this, some um, optional extensions are really to um, find someone in your family if they want to participate who steps one foot or the closest to one foot naturally. Also, you can um, find, like I was doing, find the difference between how far you stepped and a foot and do that for each round. So for 11 inches, that would be one inch difference from my step to 12 inches. Um, and you can then go ahead and look around your house. What things in your house are about one foot long? It's kind of interesting to think about how far is a foot? How far is 12 inches when I look at it? All right, great. Thanks so much. Have fun.